It's been a great day to be a gamer. The launch trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan launched, Umbrella Corps got a new trailer, and we got some information on Star Wars Battlefronts DLC. I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Earlier this week, we showed you some screenshots of the new TMNT Mutants in Manhattan game. We didn't have a lot of other information to share with you guys at that time, but all that's changed since the reveal trailer came out today. Judging from the trailer, Mutants in Manhattan won't play too differently from other Platinum Games developed action titles. It'll feature plenty of action, custom combat skills, and powerful team combos. The trailer featured hordes of Foot Clan soldiers and some of the most dangerous villains of the series including Shredder, Rocksteady, and Bebop. Do you have what it takes to save Manhattan from what's lurking in the shadows? Find out this summer on the PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC. If you're a fan of Resident Evil, then you've probably already heard about Umbrella Core. It's a new third-person multiplayer game that is set in the Resident Evil universe. It got a new trailer today showing us just what we could expect from the upcoming game. So far, it looks like you'll be playing as a mercenary working for one of the different corporations who are trying to lay claim to Umbrella's secrets. The game is set to come with plenty of game modes to keep things interesting, including their one life mode. The competitive online game will feature quick intense matches and combat battle zones themed from historic Resident Evil environments. The trailer also confirmed a release date. You can look for it on the PS4 and PC in May 2016. And lastly, Star Wars Battlefront will be receiving a ton of new DLC on Wednesday. And the best part is that it's all free. On Wednesday, all players can look forward to a new map, new outfits, private matches, daily challenges, community events, and more. The free content will continue over the coming months. And if you bought the season pass, you can also look forward to four new DLC packs, the first of which is launching in March. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you check back in with us this weekend for a quick recap on everything that's happened this week. That's going to do it for us and we'll see you next time.